Hey, welcome to Joe's Multiverse. I'm Joe, and today we got a lot to talk about. First of all, um, Superman27344, he was uh, a subscriber. He subscribed over a week ago. I'm not exactly sure which number he was, but uh, I wanted to shout him out. And then also uh, Ram Ramses, Rams, R A M S C S, uh, Ramses X. Uh, he was subscriber 1033 and we're almost to that 1400 mark so that's very exciting and I don't know exactly what it's going to be yet and I don't know exactly how I'm going to go about it but we're going to be doing a giveaway for the 2000 subscriber mark so that'll be very exciting and uh, I will try to get all of that figured out as quickly as I can to let you know the details but that'll be coming up. Also, I wanted to address the uh, Zarana and uh, Zar Zartana. I know that I was mispronouncing it. I'm. It's my excuse that I'm just horrible with <laughs> names, um, and I wasn't. I was never that familiar with that character when I was talking about the. Uh, 10 amazing GI Joe facts so I wanted to correct myself and um, say that I was pronouncing it wrong and it's Zarana so my bad and then the uh, the whole thing about uh, Rocky being one of the GI Joes um, and I am aware I've seen a lot of comments on that I am aware that that figure or that character kind of turned into Big Boa and I seen an awesome uh, custom on this and if I can if I can uh, find it um, I'll put it up right here it's on Instagram he made this awesome custom big boa I would love to get one of these I, I hope the classified uh, releases one of those or or I can get one of these commissioned but this is a really cool figure he did a really good job I, I don't have the information in front of me but I will try to sneak it in here so I should have his name uh, if you want to check out his uh, Instagram page and this um, awesome picture of this fantastic looking custom figure that he made very very cool and I should be coming out with the uh, review on that quick kick that quick kick uh, awesome custom figure that uh, that figurehead made for me is just it's just glorious uh, I'm so so happy with it and he's uh, he's nestling in his his uh, custom box here and since I have it in my hand um, I'll show it to you once again and for anybody that hasn't seen it I have a video up uh, big surprise GI Joe video and uh, where I open this and it is uh, it is just awesome there is a uh, nice shot of of good old quick kick a personal favorite of mine and I had just done a review on Hordak so I'm really looking at um, Quick Kick and, and Hordak are really at the, uh, the top of my list uh, gushing over figures right now so uh, thanks again to Figurehead for that And also I'm going to be doing, attempting to do some live chats, some live streaming once I get it all figured out here. And I was wondering if you can let me know down in the comments, um, is that something that the, the FLC would be interested in, seeing um, uh, Joe's Multiverse doing some live chats? Uh, I'm, I'm going to try that and um, see how that goes and, it, and if, it's, uh, if I get in the groove of that and it seems to be something people are kind of digging, I would like to kind of maybe start doing that once or twice a week. I think that would be a lot of fun, uh, a good way to get the, the community together and uh, maybe help grow the channel, but um, it's something that I would really like to start doing on a regular basis. So let me know if that sounds like something that you guys would, would like to see. I'm really looking forward to trying that out. A little nervous. We're always nervous of stuff that we haven't done before, but um, I think it'll be good. And I, and I, I think, uh, I think the, the FLC would, would really um, kind of enjoy that. But uh, I have two more sets of figures for you, and uh, these are kind of kind of fun and they kind of kind of fun we uh two build figures two different kind of build figures here we got the merciless and a newer build a figure for joe but an older one for a lot of other people but definitely um one of my favorites right now and that's 
the big Lebowski Thor, the bro Thor, the fat Thor, however you want to look at it. Which one of these Build-A-Figures gets your vote? Which figure would you like to see up on your shelf? Or which one is on your shelf? Let me know where your vote stands with these two magnificent looking figures. And then one other one for you. This might, uh, I try to make these hard, so this one might be hard. We got the newest Spider-Man, the retro on card. Awesome. I was so happy when I finally found this. Almost missed it, but this was like a lot of people's number one on their top 10 um, figures and top 10 Marvel Legends from last year of 2020. And he's going up against another favorite, Spawn. I believe this is the uh, Mortal Kombat Spawn, one of the newest ones that we've gotten recently. Spider-Man or Spawn? Big Todd McFarlane connection here. He used to draw some of the best Spider-Man comics and this is his original creation. So which one of these figures gets your vote? And then something else I'd like to touch on while I have you all here is my video where I did, um, that was called the Hot Tip emergency toy hunt the other night I got a, a message from some local FLCers that found a figure for me and I had been searching everywhere going into Walmarts and Targets and I have a big long story that I won't bore you with but I went through quite a bit and uh, waited a long time to find this uh, Bane uh, build a figure wave or, or collect to build wave from the DC multiverse and I was lucky enough to find three out of four but I was still looking for the Wonder Woman and um, I really did my due diligence to try to try to find that Wonder Woman and just out of nowhere I got a, a, a message saying that they had found one um, uh, somebody in the area and he told me that he put it somewhere at the store and I rushed right out and I went and grabbed it and in the midst of that I got another message saying that they had um, put a couple other figures he-man two other figures uh, over to the side and uh, one of one of those figures one of the he-man figures that they put uh, is one that I that I found it was behind some nerf guns and then the other two he-man that I got uh, I found on my own actually but there was a lot of people that were kind of upset. Most most people in the comments were like, good find, good friends, wish I had friends like that. Um, congratulations, you know, all those good positive comments. But there was a handful of people that were kind of kind of pissed and, and it rubbed them the wrong way. And, and I can understand that and, and I don't mean to do that. And um, so, you know, if, if I, I guess for me, you know, that's not something that I usually do. I, I hunt, I go out, I go out a lot of times and I, I hit the Walmarts and Targets and Walgreens, uh, you know, more days than not. And nine out of 10 times, I don't find anything. And I'm out there going in and out of these stores and, and searching and hunting, and I take a lot of footage. And if I was to put out all my footage that I, you know, when I don't find hunts, uh, I mean, I could put out a hunting video every single day, and, but most of them, I wouldn't be finding anything. And, and I don't like, toy hunts toy hunt videos like that i want to wait until i find some good stuff so you can follow the journey it has a beginning a middle and an end and it ends with you know um uh, being fruitful finding finding good stuff and i try to make the best hunting videos i can for for all my um figure loving community and uh but i was looking for this figure and i guess uh you know what are you supposed to do somebody somebody uh gives you a call or sends you a message and said I found the figure you've been searching high and low for it's behind this game and then should I say no that's not cool I'm not gonna do that like of course not I ran right out and I grabbed it and I was so grateful and it was exciting um, but uh, I do understand if some people don't like that sort of thing but uh, I don't usually find figures like that um, but uh, I apologize to people that, that were upset by that. Uh, but, um, you know, what are you going to do? I regress. All right, well, let me know where your votes stand for the figures so far. And we will be doing the, the final count and seeing the winners of the first uh, wave of figures for this battle royale so we can start 
whittling it down. I'm looking forward to that. And thank you for all your votes. And thank you all for all of your comments, well wishes, positivity, and love for the FLC and Joe's Multiverse. All right. Well, until the next time we enter the Multiverse, I'll see you later.